Welcome back. We're making our way through Goro's hangout event here. The Canine General's Special Operations, dude. But we made our way through here, came down this route here, the secret behind the letters, only to discover... Yes. Yes, indeed. That's, uh... Yeah, he is Miss Hina. He is Miss Hina. But we had that route as well. But we got three other ways to go. We got this way up here and this way down here. I want to see where we're meant to be going, though. So it's sort of like back here, I assume. Countermeasure conference. Right, so we went with It's Okay, Just Ignore Her last time. So why don't I help you overcome this weakness instead? Really? That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. So, I have to overcome it, for their sake. As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. <sighs> first things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Hmm. We can start with some theoretical study. Good plan. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Let's. Alright, so off we pop. I'm wondering where this is going to diverge after this point. Because it's this question of like, there's maybe three endings. Well, Four roots that, like, jump off from where we were. So I'm wondering where it goes from there. Because it's got to split again. Whew. <laughs> I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice. But I can't just go to them and say, Hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story. That I'm asking for a friend. Tell Sh Shuhei about what's happened, you know. I see. So you're saying that your... <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality? Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Hmm. Hmm. Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. What's the logic behind that? Uh, well, you see, General Goru, I... <laughs> General Goru's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much. But the other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ah, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice, too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right, let's see what Miwa has to say. Yeah. Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes them along. So I'm sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with all kinds of people. Oh. General Goro, and the captain of Swordfish Jew. What are you doing here? We wanted to ask you about something. Tell about the Jammerin. 
I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Hide your thoughts? Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend, and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face, so no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. Ah, you make so much sense. So what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful! You have my gratitude. I'm sure with your approach, that uh, friend of mine will be able to overcome his weakness. <clears throat> then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. Well, I'm slowly starting to gain confidence. Oh, I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there, too. Let's go take a look. Just to be thorough. Just to be thorough. Her Excellency handed me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. You think? Let's see... Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants... Aha! I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Well, that's Her Excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? What does it say? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Boy, if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. But how do we figure her out? I think we can visit Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. Mm hmm. So heading back to where we came from once again, isn't it? What was that noise? Why'd it go ting? Uh, let's have a plow down? I don't know why I was going to say plow down. I don't know. Drop down? I don't know. Ah, greetings. Here to buy some books. We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I must say that Lady Guji has a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Are these books personally selected by Yai Mika? Yes. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. When we first started running it, sales were very poor. The return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. 
Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That's life. Wait, isn't that... What's up? <laughs> Nothing. It just reminded me of something unrelated. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. <sighs> Yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look, I'm not sure what your plan is here, <laughs> but I caution you against trying to second guess Lady Guji. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <sighs> the protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies. In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sangonomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. I'm bouncing all over the place, mate. You sure you want to go here? Are you sure? He's gonna regret it. So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Hmm. The leftmost fortune slip. What did we get? Open it quick. Let's see what we've drawn. Great fortune! All right, so we have luck on our side. We can definitely show her who's boss today. Let's go! Is this just the idea of challenging me, Ko? Good luck. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Wait, wait, I want to say you're on your own, but all right, let's show her who's boss. Don't worry. All our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. Good luck. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? You knew we were coming? Mm, but of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <clears throat> <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day, and most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate, hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. Together for a lifetime? Whoa there. Calm down, Garu. <sighs> Remember what Shuhei said? We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, 
Perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Uh-oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. Can't unthink it now. I'll have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are really just as fascinating. I can't take it anymore. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. Garu? I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Just like me. You hug your tail when you go to sleep. And just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. No! <sighs> K.O. Retreat! Retreat! Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here! When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again! Bye-bye now. Come again soon. Oh. N next time. Next time, what? Gadget. Next time. Right, so let's see where we need to change up to on that then. So did we go up or did we go down? We went up. Okay. So we went in that route. So what? else can we change back here to lead us to there and there? Right, so we went with we can start with theoretical study. Let's go with I can act as a personality you find difficult to deal with. I see. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Have you found yourself in scenarios like this before? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. And I'll pretend to be a merchant. I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. Still wondering where, like, the, the the other ending can come from, though. Like, what other divergence can I make in that bit? Hmm. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Welcome to Tsukumomo no Groceries. We've got everything you need. Just call us Groceries, for, for sure. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. So, a, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please? Twenty thousand more. Okay. I'll settle the check right away. And that's it? Just like that? The price seems pretty cheap to me. In which case, no need to haggle, right? 200,000 more, then. I think that's still not too bad. Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. What do we do now? Let's switch to something that you're more interested in. Something I'm more interested in? Hmm. Maybe, um, cake? 100,000 more for a slice of cake. 
That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. If you want to bargain, you'll have to do as I say. Wait a sec. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs 100,000 more per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. Oh, let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. What? So, there isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? I don't know. <sighs> what a shame. I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. What kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? I think I've met Fatui with the right kind of personality. Fatui? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try! We're coming, Fatui. Apparently. There we are. Oh, you're like in the middle of nowhere. Bloody typical, isn't it? Just out in the far reaches. Come on. Having that for no reason whatsoever. Don't think I've leveled it up enough for it to be that good for me just yet. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow I still don't have the muscles to show for it. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. I like you just the way you are. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? Let me amuse myself a little. Have you heard of a person called Child? What? I smell danger! <laughs> it's just me. Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. I mean, they probably are. They're probably hiding in a bush behind us or something like that, but... Child is here. No, wait. Behind you! Knew it. It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage! Are you here to play with me? My royal necker? It's so funny using child though for this. Go in! Eyes on me! Wings of darkness! Hey, it's special, that um character that I've got in um Honkai Impact the Third. Yes, I've started playing that now. Well that's not gonna work well against him, is it? It's all fun and games until the real Fatui show up, huh? <sighs> that little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? Time for Plan Z. It's Z. Huh. What do you mean? Let's cut to the chase. Uh, is this moving a little too fast? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things, and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. To clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. The time has come. Uh, I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it! Time for a make-or-break training exercise! All right. Hit the Inazuma streets with your fist. And we're back. Ready? Don't worry. My head's in the game this time. I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the General of the Resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on! Sounds like you might mind if I don't go easy on you. This feels like... Go on, let me rub your ears. Yes, it definitely feels like... Yeah, Amika? Uh, no, not even slightly. What? 
It's not that you do a bad impression of her, more like something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. It just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide, like she can just peer in and see them. But it's different with you. I trust you, so I don't feel I need to hide my secrets in the first place. Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around you. That makes sense. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. Surely some cake will cheer you up. Are you serious? I'd love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. Let's go buy some cake. We've got to. All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. Find some place nice and quiet. Maybe, maybe get a uh, blanket and a lovely little picnic and stuff. Be lovely. Mm, mm, this is so good. You don't get to eat cake very often. <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. Want to try my cake? Wow, uh... Don't mind if I do. Oh. Mm, that's so sweet. Oh, look at the lovely piece of cake there. Right, so... How... How are we going to get this final one? That's the question. Because it's in, in this lot. So we've not got that. We've got all the others. Hmm... It's gotta be something I'm missing there, obviously. Obviously. Okay, so I think last time we went with why don't I help you overcome the weakness. Let's go with it's okay, just ignore her and see if there's any other options. Ah, <sighs> you're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as they don't come into contact with Yaimiko, everything should be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be this one, is it? Let's steer clear of the Yai Publishing House for now. Then. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but... It turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Would you mind coming along? Well, since you asked. Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. <laughs> oh. I expect it to be a bit further away. The fate of the box. No time to lose. And I robot number three. Do you know where the box is? Hmm. I'm afraid that will be a little difficult. Why, right, what happened? Don't worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. The reason being, it is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamore Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, 
We cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurer's Guild, until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, we will see that all items are returned to their rightful owners. Hmm, I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. Well, since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders. So I'm afraid it still could take some time. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. That is... perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Let's head to Komore Tea House first. Yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Komori Tea House like? A place to have tea. It's a tea house! Well, obviously. <laughs> anyway, let's just go take a look. Bloody hell. What's it do? Oof. A day. Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Taromaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They struck late at night while there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. Oh, Taramaru, what are you doing out here? How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. You understand, Tarumaru? Uh, how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them, and they were armed, Taramaru didn't dare to bark loudly, so he just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder! Poor boy, he's been acting more anxious than usual lately, and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. <coughs> hmm, yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. Okay, I think I understand now. I don't. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. You got all that from Wolf? Thank you, Tarumaru. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. Where does he want us to go? Ooh. Very well. Oh, I want to go up here, don't we? Good mind does, just coming through. Investigations. You know how it is. 
But yeah. Oh, I see. It's it's fine. It's 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 below. It's 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 below. Yep, I could get used to this. I bet you could, mate. There we go. That's a better, better location. I think we're getting close. There's danger in the air, and something doesn't smell right. Be careful. I. Yeah, I got dirt on the screen. I need to wipe it. Oh, there we go. This is bizarre. How would anyone think to look here? Uh, boss, didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? I can't believe we got caught. Just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid. Who the heck are you guys anyway? Tadamaro's best buddies. We shouldn't waste any more time on these people. Life is tough in the Resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? It's pure selfishness. We should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mercy. We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. That's enough. Tie them up and take them away. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so heavy handed. But thieves still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. Okay, deliver the treasure hoarders back. Get with the taller character, officer. I am pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamori Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, we can now return the box to you. Here, please take it. Oh, thank goodness. Are you going to open it and take a look? Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So... Let's head there now and open it. Let's, let's, get, 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 let's, let's do it. Hey, what's in the box? What's in the box? Hmm. Let's go with you. It's a good movie, that's seven. It's a good movie. I'd recommend it if you're old enough. Like, that's one of those films where it's like, it's really good. I'd recommend seeing it. If you're old enough. Because it, it, it's, it's, it's quite dark and upsetting. So sort of like, yeah, it'd be in the appropriate aid range for that one. One, two, three. Yes, it looks like they're all here. What are these? Some personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Water bottles, towels, knee guards. Just everyday items, but... Each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. These were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by. We all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. You see, their swords and polearms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. Artifacts of their daily lives. Got you. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these, and... 
instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. You got the box back. It's all right now. Yeah. But right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. Oh, me. Let me mourn for them just a little while longer. So, oh, that's a, that's a nice no ending and shows shows how he is as a person. I really did like the the Miskina stuff though. It's just like, oh, come on, mate. Right, so, that's us done for this part, obviously. I want the uh, rewards here. There we go. We'll have that, one, we'll have that, one, we'll have that. Thank you very much. So, that's us done with that. And we need one more key. Now, obviously, there's two more days I have to wait before I can unlock this, which means on the morning of this, like, like the next part is when I will have done Sayus. Because it's like, I, I need to wait two days from when I've done this. So it's like, yeah, we'll get we'll get it done. And after we're done Sayu, it's very much like we'll be jumping over to Honkai Impact third. And then it's gonna be like sort of alternating between Genshin and Honkai. Just because of that simple fact of like Genshin's patches will come out. I want to do them. So it'll take place of Honkai during that. And when we finish with a patch, it'll jump back to Honkai. Stuff like that. Am I even saying that right, Honkai? Impact? Third? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I've started recording that already. But anyway, that's us done for this part. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.